Welcome back to MTDC and see my friends. I am standing in front, a, in front of a beautiful Akuma machine with my buddy Andrew. Andrew and I are gonna talk about the versatility and the wave of the future of what this machine can bring to you. When we think about a turning center, how many of us immediately think of turret changes? I do, immediately. This one is a bit different and we're gonna find out who, what, when, why, how, and where. Andrew, let's talk about the versatility of this machine and why we believe it's the wave of the future. Yeah, sure, Tony. Um, so first of all, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, Maltus series here. Uh, in front of me, we got the B250. Uh, this is going to be our introduction to the uh, Okuma Milturn product line. Um, traditionally speaking, a lot of turning centers that we're accustomed to are turret lays. And with that comes a 12 station turret. Some of them have milling capabilities, Y axis, sub spindle functionalities. Uh, but, but as anybody that's ran those machines knows, tool clearances, live tool costs, those really start to add up when you factor in a high quality machine tool to begin with. All the other accessories can really get you. So what we're bringing to the table here with this B250 uh, incorporates a lot of standard features that would cost extra on a turret lathe, which makes these the cost comparison of an LB, uh, a single turret lathe from Okuma, to a Maltus, much closer than most people think. Um, here we got a uh, H1 head with a uh, 12,000 RPM milling spindle, 17 horsepower in this smaller B250. It's a little bit, you know, bar stock capacity is two and a half inch through bore, uh, so it is a smaller platform here. 40 tool ATC standard, Capto C6 quick change. Um, so we got this flavor is a, a sub spindle configuration. Uh, we also have the ability to have an NC tail stock uh, functionality as well. Um, you do have the capability to both mill and turn with this. Uh, that's what I'm really highlighting here. We got 40 tools, optional 60 in this platform for the ultimate flexibility in, in, a, in a very small machining platform. Well, Andrew, I think you've nailed just about every question that I wanted to ask you for the audience, which is perfect. It also allows me to dive a little bit into uh, how this machine works because we first a little bit talked about paying for itself, right? The yep. ROI, the, yep. the cost of what it's going to be. And we think about, okay, maybe a 12 turret changer and the tools that go into it. Now we have, you know, a tool changer and we're not sacrificing turning to do milling, we're actually incorporating all of it and being right. able to reduce that overall cost and probably setup time because isn't one of the most important things we have at a factory is how much that machine spindle is turning or how much machine in general is running? Yes, absolutely. Spindle, spindle utilization rates are all the talk right now. Um, there's, soft, there's, there's software companies that have devoted a lot of resources to be able to monitor real time what spindle utilization rates are across the board in their shops. So um, having the limited uh, changeover times with 40, 60, uh, some of our other platforms, over 120 tools, uh, really, really helps keep that spindle turning. And, and, and the return of investment becomes uh, pretty significantly decreased when you compare it to a 12 station turret. Yeah, it seems almost at this point, as much as nice as it is to think about the capabilities of what a turret machine can do, when we look at this machine, it almost feels limiting based on the fact that, wow, I get 40, I get 80, I get 100, yep. I get over 100 tools and mm -hmm. options instead of having to change things out. So as we're growing in these options, do we, are we also able to measure what's going on inside in case there's tool breakage? How are we able to keep this thing moving all the time, which is what I know you guys want at Morris and of course Akuma as well? Automation is also a key talking point here. Um, some of our platforms have the Renishaw spindle probe as standard. Some are available as an option. Um, we also have uh, in-machine tool breakage detection available with an automatic tool setter arm. Um, that allows the spindle to continue turning. I like it, Andrew. And another question I have, and I think this is important to bring up to the audience as well, is because when we always introduce new technology, or when we introduce new technology, we always have this thing in the back of our head that goes, am I gonna be able to learn it? Right. Am I gonna be able to utilize it right. to the best of its capability? And right. I see you standing in front of the software. Yeah. I've seen you tinkering with this thing before sure. we hit sure. record on these cameras. Yeah. For a customer coming in, especially maybe a new customer, and then let's move into a customer who already has some Akuma machines, but first start with one that doesn't. 
how easy is this to adapt into a facility? And then if you have an Akuma, how easy is it to adapt to this new model? So with any new machine tool that we implement, especially a new Akuma customer, uh, there's going to be a learning curve across the board. But what, where, where we really set ourselves apart here uh, at Morris Midwest and working with Okuma is we have this Okuma OSP control. It's Windows 10 based. It has the look and feel of uh, a standard machine tool control that is easy to utilize, has uh, a lot of standard G-code programming techniques that you would see in the industry across multiple different builders and control types. So uh, while Okuma does have its own control, it does tend to be one of the most user-friendly uh, controls on the market. So getting a new Okuma customer up to speed uh, is, never seems to be a problem. They, they take to it immediately. I definitely see them in a lot of the machine shops I go to with a whole lot of compliments as well. I know we're going to talk later with some of your colleagues about turnkey centers and the support that you guys yep. give. So it's pretty obvious to me that when a person invests in Morris and the support, it is pretty easy for them sure. to understand what's going on. And even if they have or you guys have that worry out there, Morris is going to be able to back you up. Uh, in fact, behind these cameras where you can't see right now, there's a training course going on as we speak because it's always happening. Right. People are learning. Andrew, I think we've pretty much covered everything when it comes to this machine. Sure. I know we wanted to really focus on uh, kind of the multitasking capabilities, the wave of the future, the importance of being able to, to not give up one, to do something else, and, yep. and, and keep these machines running all the time. Is there anything that I've left out that I haven't asked you today that you would like to let the audience know about this machine? Because we're getting hyped up for your Morris Madness coming yep. up in March this year, and we want you guys to come see what's going on here in the facility. So if there's anything we've left out today, by all means, address the audience and let them know. So one thing I want to emphasize here um, is just how flexible and versatile this platform is. So uh, if you have a machine with a single turret, Y-axis, milling, sub-spindle functionality, the Okuma Milter and Maltus should be the next platform you consider. Um, I mean, we got the ultimate flexibility with ATC capacity, different bed lengths, different configurations, whether, you not, whether or not you want to uh, incorporate probing, in-process tool breakage detection, we got our own OSP control that's Windows 10 driven. Um, it's extremely user friendly. Standard features such as collision avoidance, uh, conversational programming through our AOT, uh, IGF software. All of these things bring value to the customer that I think uh, need to be, they can't really be stated enough. Um, so with that being said, um, Please come to, to, to Morris Madness. We look forward to seeing you. And uh, as always, if you have any other questions, let us know. You know where to find them. And now you guys know why I bring the experts with me. Andrew, that was incredible. I do appreciate you. Thank you for Thank educating you, us all on this wonderful machine. Absolutely. Thank you.